Let us now take the third example from model 2. The given statements are some paintings are drawings, all sketches are paintings. And the two given conclusions are all sketches are drawings and some sketches being drawings is possible. So as we can see here, the first conclusion says all sketches are drawings. Now this is not a possibility but it is a definite conclusion. Why? Because neither the word possible has been mentioned nor this conclusion is in terms of a question. So very clearly all sketches are drawings is like a statement and it has to be considered as a conclusion. So for this to follow the given statements it must be true in all the cases as we have discussed in the case of conclusions. And the second conclusion here is some sketches being drawings is possible. So here this is clearly a possibility. So for this to follow the given statements it must be true in at least one of the diagrams. So here there is a combination of both conclusion as well as possibility. The first conclusion is actually in the form of conclusion and the second one is just a possibility. So for the first one to be true it must be following all the diagrams and for the second one to be true it should follow at least one diagram. Let us now try to draw first the basic diagram for the given statements. The first statement is some paintings are drawings. So some paintings are drawings can be taken as shown here. We find that there is an overlapping between paintings and drawings which shows that these are the paintings which are drawings. And the second statement is all sketches are paintings. So all the sketches must be paintings. So sketches here can be taken inside paintings. So all the sketches are paintings. Let us now see whether the given conclusions follow the given statements or not. The first conclusion is all sketches are drawings. All sketches are drawings. Now as you can see here, sketches and drawings do not overlap at all in the basic diagram. Why? Because they are completely disjoint from each other. So no sketch is a drawing. But the given conclusion says all sketches are drawings. So very clearly, the first conclusion here does not follow the basic diagram. So this is false. Or we can say this does not follow the given statements. Remember friends, this is a definite conclusion. So it must be true in all the given cases. And as it does not follow the basic diagram itself, we need not worry about the various other diagrams. Let us now look at the second conclusion here, which says some sketches being drawings is possible. So as we can see here, this is a possibility. And to prove this, we should be able to draw at least one diagram, which says some sketches can be drawings. As we can see here, the basic diagram is as shown with the black circles. Now, if you try to look at the given statement, some paintings are drawings. The second statement is all sketches are paintings. Now here, if we take sketches in such a way that all sketches are paintings. As you can see by the red circle, all the sketches are inside paintings. So definitely, all the sketches are paintings as shown by the red circle. And here we also find that there is an overlapping between sketches and drawings. So very clearly some sketches being drawings is possible if you try to draw sketches in such a way that it overlaps with drawings. So the point here is as per the basic diagram sketches and drawings do not overlap. But if you try to draw sketches in such a way that it overlaps a little with the drawings we find that some sketches can be drawings and it also follows the given two statements. So very clearly some sketches being drawings is possible in the red case. So we can say that conclusion number 2 is true. So the answer here should be only conclusion 2 follows the given statements. So that's our answer.